Hello everyone, it is almost the weekend, so that means it is time for new products. We have new products for you. We've got a couple of little demos, so let's jump right in and see what we've got for this week. First up, we have this little breakout. This is the 5-way tactile switch breakout. Uh, many of you have seen this actual tactile switch on the website for, I don't know, probably six months ago. Um, this is a surface mount switch, and it is an up, down, left, right, and select. And we've got it here on this nice little breakout with the four mounting holes. We've got the pull-up resistors there. Now the difference between this switch and some of the other, um, like the thumb joystick we have and that NE5, 11, whatever, um, I squared C joystick, is this is just um, basically five discrete um, switches or buttons in one little package. So like that thumb joystick that we have is actually, um, you know, an analog X and an analog Y and then a push button for the... Um, push button. And then the other one is actually got like an I squared C interface. This is a lot more simple, a lot more basic. It's actually just five little switches in one and we have them broken out into these five different pads. And so in the Arduino you would just treat this just like a normal button. So when you press a button it just reads it as high or low depending on how you have it configured. And it's as simple as that. So we've got a really simple little demo that we're going to show you of this so let's hook it up and see how it works in action so here we've got this little breakout board hooked up in this little thing um, we've got it hooked up to simulate a menu system that you would have we've got our um, 20 by 4 lcd screen here which you can see has you know a simulated menu we've got adjust brightness uh, adjust contrast kill the puppies adjust backlight you know the normal things that you would have on a standard menu system and using this button, you can see we can just tap down through the different menu items and go down to the bottom. And let's just go ahead and see what this um, Kill Puppies does. So we'll just go ahead and click on that. Um, kill all 98 puppies. That sounds about right. Um, we're going to go down here and just cancel because, you know, we don't want to kill the puppies. So, oh, hold on. I'm going to go back to cancel. Oh, well, apparently we're killing the puppies. I guess this is as good a time as any to talk about um, one little extra thing about this board. Um, our engineer Mike did a really good job building this, but the footprint was wrong and he accidentally switched the left and the right outputs on it. So the silk screen is actually wrong. The left and the right are flipped. So you can see in a system like this how well, that could be detrimental. So, Mike, you just killed 98 puppies. So, we'll get the silk screen right on the next revision, but right now, just note that the left and right are flipped, so just go ahead and flip them. And we really don't need to kill anymore, so let's just exit out of that. So, there you go. This is a lovely little demo of how to use this in the user interface. And, hey, you guys wanted more demos, so you got the demo. And next up, we've got this little kit. This random assortment of pieces is our uh-oh battery indicator. The uh-oh battery indicator is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It is just a really simple small breakout board that will indicate if your battery is getting low. So once you put it together, it looks a little something like this. So you have a battery that goes in there that connects to your system, you know, whatever it is you're trying to power. We've got this big green light, we've got a trim pot, and we've got this little dude out over there. And so what this does is when you plug in a LiPo battery, this does have to work with a 3.7 volt LiPo battery, you will adjust this trim pot to the point at which you want the battery to cut out. Um, so let's say with a LiPo battery, um, I think it's somewhere around 3.6 volts is really considered like a dead battery. Um, if you had this running into the 5 volt power booster that we have. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but that 5 volt power booster has a voltage that it's going to cut out at. So you could set that trim pot to that cutout voltage so it gives you an indication when you know your battery power is going to cut out to your 5 volt booster. There is a equation in the schematic that tells you how to calculate this value. And if you look here, there's a couple of pins to where you can put your probe on there, measure the value of the pot, run it through the equation, and you can determine, you know, 3.6 volts or really wherever you want that cutout voltage to be. And when you set this pot to the desired voltage, plug in a battery, plug in a load, as soon as that battery level gets down to that predetermined point, the light will come on. And we've got that solenoid, which you might remember, 
and a really small LiPo battery. So this guy is fully charged right now, um, but this solenoid can draw, I think, like 500 milliamps or up to an amp if it's powered properly. So what we can do is hook this up. I'll adjust it right to that cutoff point, and we can see, you know, how it works when it is working. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're just going to plug in the solenoid into the system, and then we're going to plug this battery in. And we're going to turn this all the way up for right now. So, boom. Solenoid's locked, and we're just going to adjust this to when the light turns off. And just barely turns off. So light's off, so we have enough battery power, and if we wait, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, there it goes, it's already on. So we can, you know, kind of adjust it down again. And this is drawing almost an amp right now, and you can see it turns on. So let's say we had a really large battery on the end of this, we could set this to right about the level that we want to call it a dead battery, and then plug in a load, and that load will take down the capacity of the battery, and as soon as the voltage of the battery hits that predetermined point, the light comes on. Now, this is a uh, relatively closed system. It doesn't have any output to go to a microcontroller or anything like that. Um, it's really just a good example of how to use this IC here, and if you have a project where you just need like a visual indication of the battery going low, this is perfect. It just shows you that, hey, my battery is at this predetermined level. So it's a pretty simple little kit, and if anything, it gives you an idea of how to design a circuit like this. So there you have it, yet again, another Friday new product post. So we had a couple of demos and a very cautious word of warning to our engineers. So we will see you again next week. Um, as always, go ahead and check out the rest of the new product post for the other new products that we have. And we will have a special video for next week. So if you're not used to watching the videos, it might be a good idea to check the video out next week. We'll see you then.